Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we are diving in to Taylor and Travis at Coachella. They took Coachella by storm, by desert storm, this past weekend. Literally everyone, at least in my corner of the internet, has been talking about these two at Coachella this weekend. So, of course, we have to dive in and talk about it together. Okay. We discussed last week that there was a good chance, it sounded like Taylor and Travis were going to be at Coachella this past weekend. They rented a house, they had their plans in order, everything was set to go. And, you know, I was on social media this weekend, I was scrolling on Friday night, Lana Del Rey was performing Friday night, she was one of the headliners of the of the show that week, or on Friday night, and Lana Del Rey, a good friend of Taylor Swift. So I think a lot of people felt like she was going to be there for the show on Friday. But then Lana Del Rey took the stage and Taylor was nowhere to be seen. And I sort of felt like if Taylor Swift was going to be at Lana Del Rey, we would know about it. And it wasn't, it didn't seem like she was there. Well, then we found out the next morning or maybe even that evening that actually Taylor and Travis were still in Los Angeles and they had gone out for a little sushi date at Sushi Park in in Los Angeles. They were photographed leaving the restaurant together hand in hand. And actually this sushi place is like one of the, I don't know if mystery is the right word, but it's such a random, it's, it's, it's a very random establishment in a lot of ways because it's like a really high-end sushi restaurant, like expensive. Celebrities go there all the time. Like it's supposed to be super, super good and super, super nice and everything, but it's in like a strip mall. So it's like, it's just kind of has this one space in like a, again, just a very generic strip mall that you would see like anywhere across America. Um, and, uh, so it's, it's, it doesn't really make sense. It's kind of like a random place to see celebrities. And yet they're there all the time. Um, and also to leave the restaurant, you have to like walk across a, like, I don't know, upper deck open air level. And so paparazzi are always outside waiting and it's a very easy shot for paparazzi. Um, so anyway, Taylor and Travis were at, on a little sushi date Friday night, didn't go to Coachella, which, you know what? Honestly, I understand. They're both in their mid thirties. <laughs> There's probably a good chance. And and even for Taylor and Travis, two people who have like the red carpet rolled out anytime they go anywhere, it's still exhausting. And it's still like a big ordeal to go to a festival, to be in a big crowd of people walking around. And for them, security wise, it's just, it's a lot to handle and a lot to navigate. And so I could imagine for them, it's like, let's just go one night. Let's do it up for one night. And that's it. So cut to Saturday. Um, some fans saw some social media posts of Travis in like in the desert playing golf. So then people were like, okay, they're, they're at Coachella now. Um, they're probably going to go that, that night. And then sure enough, Taylor and Travis are spotted side stage during Jack Antonoff's band, the bleachers during their set. You kind of see them. A lot of fans took videos and pictures of them dancing, just having the time of their life off off to the side of the stage, um, looking so cute. People then started to freak out because Taylor put on a hat and they were like, oh, is that a New Heights? Is that a New Heights hat? And it was Taylor Swift out here repping her boyfriend's podcast which is just, it's, it shouldn't be surprising. Cause like, yeah, of course she is. It's her boyfriend's thing. It's the podcast that started out their entire relationship. Like without the podcast, they probably would have never met. So she's probably very grateful for the podcast, but it is funny that Taylor Swift is wearing a, wearing the merch of a podcast. I don't know. I just find that to be funny. And actually we'll get back into that in a little bit as well. Um, so they're spotted. They're having a great time. Then Ice Spice, one of Taylor's really good friends, was performing later in the evening. And so Taylor and Travis make their way after the bleachers set. They go into the crowd, into like the VIP section of the crowd for Ice Spice's performance. And they're there with like Sabrina Carpenter and Barry Keoghan, Justin Bieber. They weren't with Justin Bieber, but Justin Bieber was there. Other people were were there. And they're just having the time of their life. They're dancing, they're singing. Ice Spice obviously performs Karma because she did the remix version of Karma. And so just watching Taylor Swift, like 
dance and sing to her own song from the crowd is just a very funny experience. It has to be a very fun experience. Um, so that was, that was a nice fun thing to see. They then go to, um, see Dom Dalla, uh, perform. And at this point too, again, they're just dancing, having a great time. Fans <laughs> caught Travis literally lifting Taylor up so that she could see the crowd. So that like, she could see like what was going on around her, but it was so funny. It was just like a random up. Oh, he like, she like looks around, then he puts her back, back down. Um, but they just seem to be like, I keep saying it. They seem to be so happy, but they genuinely just appear to be in another world, like not afraid to be public. They don't care about the cameras. I will have to, I do have to say it was a little bit bizarre, obviously selfishly, I loved seeing all the angles of them dancing, singing, having fun, the pictures. I think if you're a Taylor Swift fan, if you're a Travis Kelsey fan, selfishly, you kind of like seeing those pictures, but it was a bit unnerving, honestly, to see the angles of like Taylor and Travis front on and then behind them, literally every single person has their phone up directly pointed towards them. I can't even imagine living that kind of life where you just know 24 seven, especially if you're in a crowd full of thousands and thousands of people, everybody is looking at you, putting their phones at you. I mean, you have to be so careful with what you say, do. It has to just be so mentally. And this is honestly a reason why I'm sure they only wanted to go for one night because having to put up with that for three nights in a row or whatever it was going to be too much. But in all honesty, it didn't seem like they cared that much about it. They seemed to be having a great time enjoying the themselves, just like living their best life. Going back to Taylor wearing the New Heights hat, it's funny because her wearing that hat came like a couple of days after Jason and Travis did their New Heights live show, um, where they had like their fake um, commencement ceremony where they got their diplomas years and years and years late because obviously they both had graduated, but they never walked and they never actually had a graduation. And Travis, during that quote unquote ceremony, chugged a beer and the internet went berserk. They were saying that Travis was disrespectful for chugging a beer. They were like saying that it was trashy. It was like all these things. I think a lot of people thought it was a real graduation ceremony and not like a fake one that the school decided to put on to make fun of them for the fact that they never got to actually graduate. Like it wasn't serious. That people kind of lost their minds, honestly. And actually, I was going to pull up Jason Kelsey tweeted, because um, obviously Jason did graduated, you know, graduated in, in quotes too, but he didn't, he didn't chug, chug the beer. So it was Travis. I was getting a lot of the, a lot of the hate, I guess you could say. Uh, and so Jason took to Twitter to defend Travis and he said, I know it looks like a graduation from the video, but this was actually at the end of a New Heights Live podcast that we put out to raise money for the university's NIL. The university did this to poke fun at my brother and I for never really picking up our diplomas. Um, And I just thought it was honestly ridiculous how people were so outraged by this. Um, Again, like people will find any reason to hate on people. But I think there were a lot of fans that felt like Taylor wearing the New Heights hat was kind of her way of showing support for Travis and also showing that like she doesn't care (laughs) that he chugged a beer on stage while accepting his fake diploma years after graduating. So I think we all need to just take a chill pill and relax and realize that like they were putting on a show and it's not that serious. Um, And then just the last piece of news that has to do with Taylor Swift So in conjunction with Coachella going on on Saturday night, Ryan Gosling was hosting SNL at the same time, Saturday evening, and he's promoting his new movie, The Fall Guy, with Emily Blunt. Um, And so he was the host of, of the show. And in The Fall Guy, and we've seen this in the trailer, Ryan sings all too well. He's like crying in his car, singing all too well. And so for his monologue on SNL, he performed his rendition, his version of All Too Well, basically talking about how sad he is to be letting go of his character, Ken, almost like a goodbye to the Ken, the Ken character. Emily Blunt then like comes in and interrupts his monologue and is like, you need to let go of Ken. Like you need to move on. They sing part of it together. It was very funny. Go and find it on the internet. Well, Taylor gave her seal of approval. She shared the clip to her Instagram stories, to her socials. And she said, 
all too well, Ryan, Ryan and Emily's version, watch me accidentally catch myself singing this version on tour. This monologue is everything. Um, and it was, it was very, very, very funny, very well done all too well, not an easy song to sing. And also coming up with all the creative lyrics and changes was chef's kiss. Um, and as somebody who is obsessed with all too well and loves that song so much, this was a 10 out of 10. So very big weekend in the Swifty world, Swifty universe. We are into Tortured Poets Department release week. So I'm sure it's going to be even crazier of a week. We have so much coming up, so much to talk about in the week ahead, next week. I mean, cannot wait. So excited. Again, if you are a Taylor Swift fan, if you love Taylor, if you want to hear me break down everything that has to do with Taylor Swift, please subscribe to our channel. It would mean so much to us. Obviously, please follow us on social media. Share all your thoughts, comments in the comments of this video, how you felt about Taylor and Travis at Coachella, Travis's beer chugging situation, all the things. I want to hear all your thoughts and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.